Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. So we are going to be using the cosine rule to find an angle. Because just remember, um, with cosine rule, there's three sides and one angle. So if there's one missing, we are able to find it. If you need help understanding the cosine rule, please go to the cosine rule proof, because that proves the formula, and so you can understand it. Because all, all we're going to be doing today is substituting. So the first thing we do is write down our, our rule. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine angle c. That is our rule. So to get started, we are going to be thinking about, well, our angle is c. So I'll change alpha to c which means that is going to be C side, and these two are going to be A and B, or B and A, it doesn't matter. Now that I know that, all I need to do is substitute my values. So, I know C is 8, so 8 squared equals A squared, so 12 squared, B is 13, 13 squared minus 2 times A which is 12 times B is 13 cos and C. So the first thing I'm going to do is get every, everything so, um, solved except for the last part. So, so let's have a go. So, tw tw um, I know 8 squared is 64, 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, minus 2 times 12 times 13. So, 2 times 12 times 13 equals 312 with minus 312 cos c so we're just going to simplify it a bit <clears throat> so 144 plus 169 equals 700 uh, sorry th um, 313 so 64 is equal to 313 minus 312 Cos C. Now, this is plusing on this side, so I am going to be doing the opposite. The opposite is take away. So I'm going to take 313 from both sides, so I'll take it from here, and I'll take it from here. That cancels out, and that means I'm left with 64 take 313. So 64 take 313 is minus 249. So I've got minus 249 equal 313s have cancelled out. So I've got negative 312 cos C. Now, because I've got a number next to cos there, it means times. So I would like to get cos C by itself. To do that, I need to divide both sides by negative 312. So I divide this side by negative 312. So negative, negative is a positive. 249 divided by 312 gives me a massive big decimal. So I'll leave it like that, but I'll just take the decimals, um, take the negative signs away. So I can rewrite that now as 249 over 312 is equal to cos C. If you remember going back to basic um, trick, to get um, the angle by itself, we take cos to the other side and it becomes cos, um, cos negative 1. So cos negative 1, 249 over 312 and we should be able to get our angle so using the calculator cos negative 1 
249 divided by 312 and it equals 37.05. 37.05. Five degrees and that is my angle for C. So it really comes down to using algebra to solve with this equation and substituting. Really hope that helps you understand um, how to find an angle using the cosine rule. If you need any extra help please message me and make sure that you've had a look at the cosine proof because that will help you really understand this formula and get it in your head.